Shalom Mishpacha, Roy Todd coming to you with just a couple of thoughts. I want to share some things in this season of Sukkot as we celebrate tabernacling with the Lord and the Lord tabernacling with us as we remember God's faithfulness to his people and delivering them out of Egypt and the Lord's faithfulness to us all who believe in him delivering us from the bondage of our sin. He's a faithful Lord. We've been going through this year triple A plus. We have awaken, abide, align, and appear. And we're on the fourth part of that series on appearance. And I want to read from 2 Timothy chapter 4, and I want to just bring some bullet point thoughts from that list just to share about um, how we can work to help hasten the return of the Lord. Things that we can do for ourselves in our own personal lives, in our hearts. Things that we can do in declaring the gospel, uh, proclaiming the truth. Things that we can do that will help hasten His return. Amen. The scripture says the gospel will be preached to all people. What gospel? The gospel of the kingdom will be preached to all people, then the end will come. So we're going to share from this, so let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word to us today. We thank you that you're filling us with your truth and you're commissioning us over and over again as your people to do the work of an evangelist and to minister the truth of the gospel to the people you bring across our path, to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. Amen. So 2 Timothy chapter 4. I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Messiah Yeshua who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing and at his kingdom. Preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. And they will turn their eyes away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. But you be watchful in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, and fulfill your ministry. So here we see verses 1 through 3, and we see verses 4 and 5, this beautiful list that will help hasten the return of the Lord. So number one, we're to preach the word. We're to declare the truth of the gospel of the kingdom. We're to proclaim the truth of God's word, and he follows his word to perform it. Amen. Number two, he wants us to be ready. So there's a preparation of our own heart through prayer, fasting, through reading scripture, through meditation on God's word. We prepare ourselves for the return and the appearance of the Lord. We're to work on our own faith. We're to build ourselves up in this most holy faith and to be prepared and then preparing others for the return of the Lord. As we do this, we're able then to take a stand in a dark, broken, oppressive world. We can take a stand for moral truth. We can take a stand for holiness. We can take a stand for righteousness. We can take a stand for grace and love and mercy. We can take a stand for truth. And I want to encourage you, it's getting less and less gray area and more and more black and white as it grows closer to the appearance of the Lord. So let us be a people who take a stand for moral truth. Amen. Also, we need to be alert for His appearing. We're to be loving His appearing, as it says in 1 John 2, that those who are looking and loving the appearing of the Lord, we are looking for His coming. We are hungry for it. We're tentative for it. We're praying for, to, for us to be able to see those, those clouds split and our King return and put His feet on that mountain. Well, Lord bless you. May you be blessed uh, as you look for his return. May you be blessed as you seek his face and experience his presence in your home as we experience it here at El Shaddai in our prayer and worship. May the Lord pour out his spirit upon you and be gracious to you. And may you know his peace and his wholeness. This is Roy Todd saying, walk in the power of the Holy Spirit and know that the Lord loves you. Shalom, shalom.